What up, guys? Hello, guys. Hey, guys. Talking to y'all like how those Brazilians talk. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. Small Nomad here. With another video. Nah, I ain't gonna do all that. But yeah, man, Samoa Nomad out here in, um, I think I'm in Dade County or something like that. Just had to stop to get something to eat because I was starting to like, like if you would have seen me <clears throat> an hour ago, you'd be like, this dude need a Snickers bar, man. Because I really wasn't me when I was hungry. But yeah, just finished getting something to eat. Um, I'm about to go to, go downtown. I need to buy a charger because I left my charger at my friend's house. And he's not at home, so I locked the door, so about to grab a charger and then um go downtown and work i'm kind of mad because if i would have did my background check for georgia i would have been able to uh, drive and do uber earlier but that's just not the case because you know i'm still waiting on it to pin and it's going to take about um <sighs> tomorrow or the day after man so hopefully it's quick hopefully it's super super quick but yeah, man, I'm down here. Um, just finished watching this um, motivational video about uh, Ronnie Coleman and Jake Cutler and Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. That shit had me pumped because, you know, even though I'm not in the path of bodybuilding, it's like in the path of becoming great. You know, Ronnie Coleman's was Stan, the best being number one. Jake Cutler's was... Um, you know, being in second place, but but finally grinding it out as the underdog to become number one. And Arnold Schwarzenegger just being a pioneer, right? He wasn't exactly the pioneer because there was bodybuilding before him, but he was that first guy to take it to the next level. Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler were the two, the two uh, other guys in the next generation to bring it to the second level, which is why we got freaking uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bodybuilders right now. But otherwise, otherwise, I mean, not other ways. About to go um, grab a charger, do Uber um, for like a few more hours. <laughs> I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to muscle it out, man, because it's kind of it's frustrating too. Because it's like um, <clears throat> it's like this is a big city, so and not a lot of people are ordering, or people are ordering, but it's not a lot of money. But me, you know, I, I'm not a complaining type at all. You know, even though I just complain, I'm not about to keep complaining. You know, my thing is this: is adapt or die to any situation. Why am I stuttering? Adapt or die, adapt or die to any situation possible. You know, the area I'm not, the area I am in currently is not working. I will go to another area. So me, I'm about to drive downtown Atlanta and see what's going on over there. You know what I mean? I will work. I will fight. I will compete. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of guys complaining about not getting any women. It's like, what are you doing wrong? What's wrong with you? You know what I mean? Me, if I want to get some women, I just need to lose fat. Like that's it. Like I, I know how to. I know conversation. I know how to talk. I know how to do this and that. Just gotta get the physical appearance right. And that's all. And thing that is is just uh, working out and not being a fat slob. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I ain't got no strawberry daiquiris in here for anybody concerned. Napoleon Dex and uh, Parker. I ain't got no damn strawberry daiquiris. I'm done with it <laughs> for real. I'm done with <laughs> done with that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Adapt or die to any situation, man, because you see people in the economy complaining about jobs, um, not paying them all this money. Well, why are you staying there? Go leave and find another one. People talking about inflation and cost of rent going up. Well, go find a way to make some more money or leave your situation. You know, I'm in Georgia right now. You know, I, what I love about Georgia, period, is the um, land of opportunity and just for black people in general. You know how many black people I've seen in fast cars? Huh? How many black people I've seen in fast cars, supercars? I'm doing Uber Eats. You know how many black people I've seen in these big mansions or these super huge houses or these super huge uh, townhouses? Because you've seen townhouses in the hood. It's just a nasty looking building with two tenants on the left or the right. I'm talking about million dollar townhouses where the houses are uh, I don't know, as big as, it's like two McDonald's, but split in half, right? And they look good. So, you know, Georgia's a place I'm starting to fall in love with. You know, I'm gonna still be a nomad and travel and do this and that. You know, right now I'm just finding my footing because eventually I am gonna take an acting course. I'm gonna get headshots and all that, and I'm gonna push it to the limit. 
but right now you know everything is everything is ground zero you know i've been telling you guys that i'm gonna be going out of my state and traveling and seeing how it is and this is what i'm doing man you know there's a bible verse that says faith without works is dead and you know it's not because what a lot of people tend to do is make it as supernatural you know all bible scriptures are supernatural no man bible has verses that are just plain common sense faith without works is a real thing you know you have to believe and who you're going to be in the future you have to believe in the outcome you know you have to uh train your mind force your mind or trick your mind into believing that one day either today tomorrow a few minutes a couple of hours or a few years away you will achieve certain goals because this is a mental game you know what i'm saying 80 percent is mental or maybe 90 percent 80 percent is mental or you can say 50. Eight, that percentage is you believing the other part is works, the physical, putting plans into action. Maybe you have to get degrees. Maybe you have to be like my boy uh, Parker and, uh, you know, go to school, get these degrees. You got to be like Hicks, you know, training in the gym to get in shape and work out. Maybe you got to be like an uh, introvert rock star, stacking money up, buying the proper equipment. You know what I mean? It's just those things. So faith without the works, man, you already know what it is, man. But yeah, about to start uh, driving and things like that, man. And I'm out. Let's get it.